Welcome back to the Classic Drivers and welcome back to another episode of Identity Crisis, the Retro LS build. Uh, it's been a long while since I put a video out. I lost a bunch of footage, got discouraged and said uh, to heck with it. I'm not doing it anymore. But, uh, you know, I've been itching at making another video and putting some content out. So, here we are. As you can see, the heads are off of this thing. Why are the heads off of it? Well, I'll bring you in and explain. Uh, I ran into a few, uh, I wouldn't say complications, just things I saw that I didn't like. So, I decided I'd tear this thing down a little farther and, well, it's probably not going to be a budget friendly build anymore. Anyways, we'll continue on. Alright, so what we have here is uh, the push rods all out and uh, this one here that was in the engine, I'll see if I can focus in on it, it was not mushroom but wore kind of uh, on a V. So the tip wasn't uh, shiny and round like all the other ones and also the rocker was also uh, wore so this is a brand new one and you can see the pocket is uh, smaller than this one here so I figured that the engine probably had some sort of an oiling issue so I decided I needed to change that rocker I was already changing the push rods but then I also saw a lifter that was farther down like when I pulled the cam out it looked like one had come apart and dropped but uh, after pulling the lifters out that's not really the case it's just these lifter trays these holders are quite war and the uh, even with the rods into the block the lifter moved down so it wasn't a problem but uh, I'm glad I'm doing this I've picked up new trays new lifters so there's the trays there's the lifters there's a new uh, melling oil pump just in case there was a oil starvation issue and Oh, that's, that'll be for a future episode. Look at that beauty. Anyway, so, so in today's episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on the heads. I'm going to be lapping the valves and putting the new pack springs on. I've already uh, started. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to do that on previous episode which didn't happen because I lost my uh, footage uh, it showed taking the heads off and how you do that um, I cleaned up all the pistons I'm wrapped in plastic so you can't really see but why I don't know I know after the first fire it's gonna be all black and uh, carbon on them anyways it's not like you can see them but they came out to pretty nice everything looks good these there's no scoring on the cylinder walls and uh, I took the heads off and I cleaned those up as well and there's other videos out there so if you want to clean up your heads go for it just don't use anything abrasive don't use a roll lock um, you know use a scraper and and go at it so let's get into this alright so what I'm gonna be doing here today is uh, taking the old valves out um, valve lapping the valves and uh, putting the new pack springs um, I'll try and not make the video too long because it's rather boring so, off of Amazon, I picked up this uh, valve compressor, valve spring compressor. 
Um, I'll try and put the link in the description if I still have uh, have it. So this particular uh, valve spring compressor does two valves at a time. Um, I suggest uh, just threading this in by hand. It is uh, an aluminum head. Don't want to break it. Tighten it up. I'm starting over here because I've already practiced on uh, these other ones. <laughs> And with a half inch wrench, just tighten this down. There we're tight. Now push the valves down. Yes, it did. You can see that when I went down, it pushed the valves down pop those. I have the luxury of doing that because I'm doing this uh, obviously on the bench and not on the engine. If I was doing it on the engine, um, I probably would have had to put compressed air in to hold the valves up and uh, it would have been a little trickier. So I'm just using a magnet to pull the keepers. Fairly easy. Take the valve spring compressor off. the old springs out. The hats I will keep. I'm going to reuse them and I'll put the springs with the pile of old ones. Now the valves should come right out. Here's the big intake valve. Intake valves, uh, all of them have been in good condition. The exhaust valves, on the other hand, um, could use a little work. Uh, to be honest, I think I probably should have uh, replaced the exhaust valves. These are the intake valves. I don't know if the camera will focus on that. Pretty good shape. Now the exhaust valve, it's very hard to see because there's carbon on it, but there is some pitting around the seat. So I'm going to do uh, the wrong thing and just uh, valve lap those and take the pitting out and I'm still trying to keep this somewhat budget friendly so bear with me um, maybe it's not the right thing to do but it's it's how I'm doing it so like it or not all right so I'll get right into lapping the valves um, there's a few things uh, I, I'm gonna do while doing that. I've never lapped valves before, so this is all new for me. I'm just gonna put uh, some oil on the stem. 
that will lubricate it so when I'm spinning it it doesn't uh, hurt the uh, valve guide so whoops, before I put that in um, I've been using uh, Permatex uh, valve grinding compound um, this stuff smells exactly like gear oil and you all know how much I uh, like gear oil and now yes I'm doing this with a drill you can do it the old-fashioned way old-fashioned way the correct way with a suction cup a valve lapper the problem I was having with this is it's a cheap one and it didn't want to stay on the valve. So what I've done is I've, for my drill, I've taken basically a deburring bit and put it in this piece of rubber. I think it was a boot for a alligator clip or something I had lying around. And uh, this fits over the stem of the valve. And what this does is you could put the chuck rate right on the valve but you might uh, mar up the valve stem. So with this on there, it'll allow for some movement without uh, damaging, and hopefully it'll do it evenly. So push it on. Now I go in both directions. I try and do a few uh, rounds one way, and then I reverse the drill and go the other way. Um, just it goes by feel from from what I've so far from what I've done um, and you can hear the valve compound cutting so when you stop hearing the sound of it cutting I usually apply some more now I don't uh, go too fast with the drill I'm not putting a crazy amount of pressure again I'm just going by feel Then I usually take a rag with some brake, brake cleaner, parts cleaner, and I wipe it off. Now this valve isn't uh, very bad shape, but uh, the exhaust valve will take uh, much more work. Um, this one here. You know, it's nice and uniform. I'll see, maybe I'll try and get a uh, before and after picture in there of the valves. But uh, I'm going to continue on. Um, I don't think you need to see me uh, grind at these for hours on end. Um, maybe I'll show you a little bit on the exhaust one. Um, I mean, this is what it looks like right now so I'll show you after I'm done what it's gonna look like so again it's gonna be very hard to pick up on camera but there is some pitting around it. So I'll keep going and see if I can get all that out. All right, so I got the two uh, valves uh, lapped in and uh, yeah, it uh, actually turned out pretty well. This was the exhaust one that was full of uh, carbon and pitting and after three, four passes, it uh, took the pitting out. So now I'll... Uh, mount the valves 
Back in the head. And I'll flip this over and uh, show you guys uh, how to put the new pack springs in, which is basically reversal. And pack racing, 12, 18 springs. Put them on. Put the hats on. Get my valve spring compressor set up. Make sure the valves are all the way out. They are. Take the keepers. Okay, those are in. I did struggle a little bit there. I don't know. If you want to see a good video of uh, someone changing valve seals with head on car, go check out uh, Phil's uh, Phil's video when he did it on his uh, TA. The only other thing I like to do is give him a tap make sure they're all seated and it's as easy as that so there's one last thing I do after these are all lapped in and I'll show you that now all right so the heads are done um, they turned out well all the pack springs are installed the last thing I do as you'll see I put a piece of white paper towel underneath and it's hard to see on camera, but I filled the combustion chamber with water to make sure my valve lapping job was good. And I'll leave that sit and if there's no water seeping through and going onto the paper towel, then we should be good to go. So that's all for this episode. So guys, uh, check in for a future episode. The cam will be going in soon. And remember to keep that classic driving. Check you on the next one.